Ever since I began tracking the elusive wandering whitetail across the northeast, it has been a dream of mine to head to the north woods of Maine and track down a buck. This year, I was able to make that dream a reality. Here's the story of my 2023 northern Maine buck. What's up, guys? It's day one in Maine, November 20th. Beautiful morning. As you can see, we got some awesome snow. Last night, just enough to track, perfect for the first day here. So I just got out on the track, off the road. Morgan dropped me off. I'm on a real nice buck in the doe from this morning. So he's a good, big track, a lot bigger than Vermont track. So I'm excited, I'm gonna get on him, see where he brings me. So stay tuned, day one, let's make it happen. Let's have some fun. All right, so here's his track right here. dragging his feet so hopefully he's not going very far but we'll see all right stay tuned Yeah. 
freshen him up. But he stepped in some water this time and it's not froze up. It was froze up a while back. So I don't think he's all that old. Because it's really cold right now with that wind. But you can see this water still liquid and not froze up. Well guys, I'm bummed to say that I lost that track, so got into this old road here and all this brushy stuff and there was three or four other deer in here feeding. Got twisted around with all of them and the wind was blowing. It's been blowing really bad and blowing all the snow off the trees, so it's filling in tracks. I don't know what's fresh, old, what was my buck that I was on and can't tell the difference from the other deer and then the sun came out and it's melting the snow on the edges so oh, they fed along this this cut this road here for a long time but I can't figure out where they went I think I'm just going to go with the wind in my favor and work along this road and see uh see what happens oh well that's how it goes sometimes he won this one but we're going to keep after him a little disappointed, a little discouraged, but that's all right. We'll just keep after him. So it's only day one up here in the north woods. All right, stay tuned. Oh, I've been on another buck and doe. Found their beds, and then I found them walking out of their bed. So really nice buck. I mean, the way he came back up through could have been the one I was on this morning, but it's fresher now. Uh, he's heading with this still, they're tiptoeing, but it's after three and I gotta start working back to get picked up by Morgan, so I'm gonna go on these guys a little bit further and see what happens. And then start working my way to the truck, so. All right guys, thanks for watching. Day one in Maine, almost in the books, but hey, we got some snow and we're in the game. We're on deer. Well, guys, I jumped that buck um, right around 3.30 or so. So, too late to get on him again. Got to head out of here. So, yep, he fed on some old man's beard and then uh, plopped right down in the middle of a little clearing. And he heard me coming. I started speeding up because 
Morgan had texted me and got to start heading back. So I wanted to get moving on that track. And uh, make up some ground. But I knew it was pretty fresh and he ended up being right there in front of me. So he heard me coming. My wind was kind of swirling, but oh well. That's how it goes. Good deer. Good size bed. I got some pictures of it. All right, guys, got to get moving. Get back to the truck before it's too dark here. All right. Thanks for watching.